Oh my gosh, it's a Michael. <gasps> Where? Where? Alright, so Michael, you missed out on my last opening. Um, I got another ghost crab and I got a red fox and I got a scarlet honey creeper. Well, that's okay, because I'm here for this opening. <laughs> I want to start with the green guy. Craig. Let's see what you got, buddy. Carefully open so I don't get chocolate everywhere. It's an egg! No. Alright, so today we got. Oh, this is a new one. What? We got a fishy. Oh my god! Is that like a sturgeon or something? And this is. Yes, a beluga sturgeon. They are critically endangered. And he is a diamond level. Diamond level? Mm hmm. What were the levels again? Do we remember? Because um, we've got a bunch of different levels. It looks like they changed it a bit. Because the levels used to look different, I think. So, Super Golden Diamond Emerald Sun, and it's ranked by rarity. I think it's ranked by endangered level. Yeah. So that one's a thumbs up and that one's a crown. Does that matter? <laughs> uh, we'll have to look at one of the older <laughs> ones. So let's look at Badger, because they've changed. Because here, it was sure. rated like this. Mythic, epic, rare, popular, common. Yeah, because that's what I've got on the, the little symbols. Mm-hmm. And that was on the back side, and this back side's different. Popular, common, rare would be green. The beluga sturgeon is critically endangered. An old rich row is what it says. Uh, yeah, I think they can't really read it. Mm, hold on. Commonly called caviar. Does that help? This slows down the life cycle of the species that can live up to 110 years. Goodness. The largest freshwater fish with a record of 7.2 meters long, beluga sturgeon products from the Capsian Sea are banned in the United States since 2005. Wow. Good job. So we got an endangered... That's what it okay. looks like up close. So. Yeah, where's your phone? I set it behind me. It's not where that goes. So this is the first one that we have that has like okay. the weird little rock symbol. Okay, no, I think, so this is a wild water class, right? So land and water are separate? I think so. Ooh, wrong button. Because all of the other ones are under colors mm -hmm. so colors is the the ones we've had and then i guess wild water is this so maybe if we get another colors it'll be the same ranking as these but wild waters are different rankings hmm. interesting because yeah there's colors colors gummies interesting which has things like uh mouse dwarf frog turtle cats and then there's bites okay so they have all kinds of different and then wild water is what we just got so they've added to it i think so wcs i don't know what that is mm -hmm. but it looks like their creations a lot there oh no there's actual animals in wcs rescue uh -huh. so yeah i wonder how they they organized it. Uh, well, whenever we get all of them, we'll, we'll figure it out. Alright. What do we got here? I wonder if they do seasonal, like, different... Well, no, because now we have another snake. Another green one? Yep. The green vine snake. And he is... A check mark. Least concern. Yeah, he's a check mark. Right there. This one's a bit different, so it's backwards. 
hard to collect them all when you keep collecting the same ones. Yeah, I wish there was a way to figure out maybe like a barcode or something. I don't know. Is there a trick to it? You look different. I don't think we have you. Whoa, is that a lobster? Tasmanian giant freshwater crayfish. Crayfish? Oh my goodness. This is another Wild Waters one. He is an emerald, and he is just endangered. So he's not critically endangered, but he is endangered. Peach, peach, peach. <laughs> So two water ones today. Um, I don't know the conversions, but weighing up to six kilograms, these freshwater crawlers are native to Tasmania and have been prohibited to catch since 1998. The largest freshwater invertebrate in the world, they have been recorded to survive up to 60 years. Wow. So they say the, the the largest freshwater invertebrate. I've seen some big I've freshwater. I've seen some really big freshwater so, invertebrates. So maybe it's just in that area. Maybe. Let me... Could you read his name again? Tasmanian giant freshwater crayfish. Yes. And he is... Got him. He's a different color rock. Because that one's green and that one's like pink and blue. Mm-hmm. He's a... I think I said emerald, but I need to do a quick conversion on. Six. So he did the math. It's a 13 pound crayfish. Anybody from Louisiana want one? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't they grow in Louisiana? <laughs> right. Well, they're endangered, so I don't think you can. Oh man. Maybe if we get some and start a farm to make them not endangered, then we can. <laughs> all right, last one is another fishy. All right, we're getting all the fish today. Oh, he's a big fat blue one. He is. Look at that. And he is, oh, well this one isn't under wild water. So this one is a rare, he's a little diamond one. And he is under least concern status. So not they're not endangered at all. Blue there he is. damselfish. Damselfish. I'm a damsel in distress. <laughs> Says a dazzling devil. Well, he looks that way when you look at him from the front. He's got this evil glare. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes referred to as the blue or sapphire devil, this vibrant fish is spotted by its blue hue and black nose stripe. When they become adults, the male damselfish develop yellow orange colored tails and sometimes yellow noses so okay so you can tell the male from the female yeah they can be found in the wild as far south as australia and as far north as china so they inhabit a large area mm -hmm. the whole part of the pacific ocean okay. um, so as far as the rocks go This he's, one is a... He's part of these. He's oh, no, he's a diamond. diamond. He's a diamond. So we have one of green rock, one purple-blue rock, two crowns, four diamonds, one, two, three, four, six check marks, mm -hmm. and three thumbs-ups. So now we have 16 of 185. Goodness, that's a lot. And I have more chocolate. <laughs> so, thank you all for tuning in. And when we get some more yowies, we will show you some cool more animals and read to you all of their cool facts. The details on these are so good. They even have the bumps on the, the claw. Yeah, that's I really like that about these. That really makes them like collectibles. Mm-hmm. Or other blue parrots up there. <laughs> He's guarding. <the> <laughs> All right, guys. We will catch you in another video at another time. Thanks for tuning in with us. Bye. He has a mustache. Yeah.
Yeah, he's got like little suckers or something underneath. <laughs> I guess that's like to feel under him to see if there's something he could like maybe bite. It looks like a mustache. Kinda like a, he looks kind of like a stingray or something from underneath or whatever they are. You know, like mm -hmm. the manta rays. Maybe he's a bottom really feeder. Cool. All, right. All right, so anyway, bye guys. <laughs> bye guys.